Dean, FA Cup defeat at home to Borehamwood. Uh, how do you reflect back on this, this afternoon? Well, we've lost. <laughs> We're out. So, congratulate the opposition. Um, so, good, good performance by us against a, a team that are flying. You know, they've only lost one game all season. So, um, and we have chances, you know, to equalise. We have chances to take the lead. Which you won them the great chance. We've got some great areas. Um, Adam Marriott the great chance, second half. So, we had, we had a couple of fantastic chances. We played some good football at times. We were better in possession, which we've been working on. But uh, the hard facts is you're out with the cup and it's disappointing. No one wants to lose, but if we're going to lose, I'd rather lose in that manner. I mean, it, 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 was a, it was a bit of a scrappy goal to, to concede. Uh, what do you think we could have done to, to prevent that from happening? Listen, someone's lost a man in the box. I'm not going to have that on camera. And that's the way it is. We've got man for man, uh, defensive corners. And they're strong from that. That's their strong point. You know, they've walked it. I think they had about two or three throw ins to get down to get themselves a corner. They throw the ball channel side so they can get another throw in and gain yards with the pitch. And that's how they play. The corner's gone in. I think Oxo made an unbelievable save. He's tipped it onto the crossbar and it's come back and, and spun and hit him and gone into the net. So, it, look, there's always going to be errors within games. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, we've got to be a little bit more streetwise, letting them into them zones by throwing the ball up the channel. Sort of started in the dugout area to throw in, and it was two or three throw ins, and they ended up getting a corner from us. So, and that's how they play. It's something we spoke about and walked on. But at the end of the day, we're right at the start. We're right at the start of what we're doing. They've been doing it much longer than us. And I thought we were more than competitive in the game. I mean, as you mentioned there, we, we did look really quite competitive and did come close against the, a strong Borenwood side, which must give you uh, well, which must give you and, and the players a lot of confidence going forwards now. Yeah, losing games don't give you confidence. But look, we'll dust, it, dust ourselves down. Uh, you know, our supporters are fantastic clapping us off at the end. We've got to keep creating that togetherness. It takes time. That will just happen overnight. But they've seen an honest bunch of players today and they're running stats. GA just told me, he says they're outstanding. He said they're out of this world. So once we keep walking hard and keep trying to do what we're good at, um, things will improve. Uh, a first start for Sam Woods, how do you feel he got on? Yeah, look, ideally we would have liked to take him off around 60, 70 at minute. We couldn't because we were 1-0 down. Obviously, Paulie's a big loss now. You know, he's rolled his ankle. So I thought he started the game really well as well, Paulie. So that's going to be a, you know, he's a big player for us. So we'll see how that how that is. But yeah, Woody, Woody done okay. Um, he's a little bit rusty, so but he did okay. He, what he does is he breaks the play up. He's aggressive. He's a big lad. Um, so and he's got to find out the way we want to play as well. So we're getting to know each other. I mean, how how do we use this disappointment now to, to spur us on against uh, against Wrexham? Yeah, look. At the end of the day, you know, we want to play to that level of performance. You know, we've got to score. Like I said, we got to think today we must have gotten 15, 16 great areas in and around the back of their defence. They play, they play wing backs. You know, we've stretched the centre backs. We've got them into areas they don't want to go into. But so I want to especially mention. I don't usually say so. I thought Efron was outstanding today. You know, it was a fantastic performance by the kid. And people have to remember, he's only 22. He's a re he's just turned 22 a couple of months ago. He's a really young man. And if you look at their team today, I think their their youngest player would have been 24. Maybe Jacob Mendy. They're a very seasoned team. Got a lot of seasoned players. We very we have a young team, a really young team. Uh, uh, right back as well today, Tomo, young player. So we've got the young players of which Kean Flanagan, Sam Woods, the young lads. Richie Brundle's only 26. So Mason Bloomfield, 24. So it'll be a, a big learning for us today. A big, big learning. But I was proud of our performance. Yeah, as you mentioned there, that the fans at the end were, were fantastic once again, weren't they? Yeah, supporters have been great. You know, the last four uh, four games, uh, they've been fantastic. They've got behind us. I think at times we gave them something to sing about today. It's just a pity we didn't score the goal that was needed. But once again, I just congr congr uh, congratulate Luke and his Borussia team, uh, and I wish them well in the next round of the, uh, the competition. Thank you, Dean. Cheers.